Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Purity Series. It's so, so nice to have you here. Thank you so much for always joining us. My name is Adege Grace Mercy and today we'll be talking about the right posture, commitment to prayers. Yes, men ought always to pray and not to faith. Luke chapter 18 and verse 1. God wants us to have, you know, the right posture and which is commitment to prayers. God wants us to give ourselves to prayers. Oh, yes, you can say you have been praying and then you have not gotten the result of what you're praying for, or you are not even seeing the effect of the prayers, or you are not, you know, you have not gotten the result, the kind of result that you really desire to get. But you must also look within and see the things that God has done. If you, only you can look by the Spirit of God, you'll be able to know that God has done a lot of things through your prayers you'll be able to know that your prayers through intercession we'll be talking about intercession and supplication we'll be talking about you making your request known to god and also interceding on behalf of others so commitment to prayers is something we cannot joke with it's something that you must always do because scripture says that we ought always to pray it's just like you know it's 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 it's, it's like an admonition to us to know that if you are not praying what else are you doing men ought always ought means that it is compulsory it is something you have to always do so prayer is not just you you know tabling your requests before god but also a medium through which you can have a relationship with god such that when you pray to god god speaks to you such that when you pray to god you hear god speak back to you so that when you move through the journey of life even when the storm is raging you do not have fears because you have built up your faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. So you must understand that the, the, the need for prayers cannot be overemphasized. It is necessary. And not just prayers, commitment to prayers. And that's what I'm going to be dwelling on today. So not just prayers, but commitment to prayers. Commitment means dedication. That is, your, your heart is solely fixed up on doing something such that if anything wants to come against it or distract it or disturb it you go against it. you say mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. i want to pray so commitment to prayers is very important whether it is convenient whether it is not convenient that's why scripture says ought always such that even when it is not even convenient at that point you are praying Pray without ceasing, the scripture says. So we must understand that there is a need for us to commit to prayers. So many people pray. So many people want to pray, but they do not have a heart that is committed to prayers. So you must understand that the right posture for you to have is to commit to prayers. Do not just want to pray. Do not just desire to pray, but commit yourself to prayers. Just imagine that you have committed yourself to a workplace. You started working in a place and then you were supposed to resume 7 30. Do you know you have to resume 7 30, right? Because you have committed yourself to, you have appended your signature that you really want to do this work. And so when you when you when you go forth, you know that you have to come very early. You have to meet up with your time. You have to meet up because of your commitment. If you had not committed to it, you would have just said, Oh, today I'm not going anywhere, no matter what it is. Tomorrow I will go. Because you have committed to that particular workplace, that is why you keep going. Because there's something in return. So you know you are expecting a salary at the end of the month. So you commit yourself to that job. So you must also commit to prayers. Your heart posture has to be committed to prayers. So that you tell your heart, we must pray. There's a need for us to pray. Praying in the Holy Ghost, there's a need for us to also intercede for men. So you must also know that for everyone that the Lord has brought into your life, God wants you to always pray for them. Yes, you may not be able to mention every one of them's name one after the other, but you must know that as you intercede for them, I intercede for everyone connected to me. I pray for everyone associated with me, my family, my friends. Yes, they depend on your prayers as well. So that's why you must always pray and also 
supplications. What do you want God to do for you? Temple it before God. Scripture says, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be opened. Ask the Lord. Seek from the Lord. Knock on the door and the door will be opened. So you must understand that you must ask the Lord. And how can you ask? Can you ask by keeping quiet? Do you know that silence means consent? Okay, just for, for example, the devil is speaking to your heart. You can never be great in life. And you are keeping quiet. Ah, you are at a disadvantage though. At a disadvantage rather. Because you are keeping quiet, then it means that yes, you can never be great in life. But once that thought comes to you, you respond back through prayers that God has not made you so. God has made you a king and a priest. And God wants you to reign on earth. God has blessed you. And he said that you should multiply. And he said you should be fruitful. And he said you should dominate the head. And he said you should have dominion. So you must understand that as you open up your mouth, every word of prayer you offer is prayer. Every word of thanksgiving you offer is prayer. So you must understand that every time you keep quiet, you are at a disadvantage. And it can mean consent to the devil. So pray. Open up your mouth and pray. So to sustain our relationship with Jesus, we need to pray. Yes, we need to pray. We need to communicate with God through prayers. And lastly, for daily cleansing and purification. You need to cleanse yourself daily through prayers. And so we'll be talking about the, the, the commitment to growth and also the word of God. But you must understand that prayers is very, very important for cleansing and purification. So when last have you prayed? When last, when next will you pray? Make sure that you commit to prayers in such a way that every now and then you are always found praying because men are always to pray and not to faint. If you can bring yourself to putting your name in that particular sentence and say to yourself, grace, mercy ought always to pray and not to faint. You will find yourself being committed to it and you will stay committed to it. Stay committed to prayers in this season and every season of your life. Thank you so much for watching the Purity Series this week. God bless you.